welcome back to the channel. Um, I just figured I would give you guys a quick update. I didn't want to bore you with all of the uh, boring stuff. Like going through and cutting this cowl out and stuff like that. But there's a lot of work that we've been doing to Reaper. And I did want to give you guys an update just to show you guys what's going on. So obviously we've dropped the cave member. We've lowered the engine down so that way we could get into to the cowl our, uh, area right here. We got it all cut out. HVAC system, gone. Don't need that. Um, we have been pretty much cutting any kind of material and metal out that we don't need. Weight reduction, padding, all kinds of stuff is coming out. Don't worry, I am still keeping the interior pretty well, you know, like street looking because that's how I like my vehicles. So I'm not going to be ripping the carpet out. I'm not going to be, you know, running around with no dash. I mean, temporarily I am, but... I'm definitely not gonna be leaving the car like that because that's I really like my cars to look like they're you know still street cars even though Reapers she's definitely getting to the point where she's like full blown race car now. But anyways, uh, as you guys can see here, like I said, we got the cow cut out, and why don't you come over here and we'll show you what's going on on the inside. Actually, take a look right here. This is some of the junk we pulled out of it already. Here's the HVAC system that is heavy. Uh, Winston wiper motors and stuff like that heavy. This is some of the padding and stuff that's around the firewall that was behind this that we don't need. That's surprisingly heavy. Um, got the dash pulled out, all kinds of the duct work and stuff pulled out because we're not gonna reuse any of that, so there's no need to keep it. Here is my current dilemma and situation of carnage. Do you, do you feel sorry for me? Because I do. Right. No, don't, you know what, don't feel sorry for me. I'm doing it to myself, guys. But. It's okay, because once we get all this garbage out of here that we don't need, Reaper's gonna be so much lighter, so I'm super excited about that. And then we'll put the dash back in, and I'll put, I'm gonna make some custom uh, door panels. Guys, that's gonna be an exciting episode. Definitely stay tuned for that. I'm gonna gut this entire door all of this crap is coming out. The speaker's coming out. All the wiring that I don't need is coming out. I'm leaving the wiring, though, for my mirrors. I don't. I probably don't need to, but I really like my motorized mirrors, so I'm going to keep them. Uh, I'm going to be cutting a lot of this metal out, and then I'm going to make my own custom carbon fiber panel to put back. So that's going to shed a lot of weight out of these doors. But yeah, man. So you guys stay tuned for that. Like I said, I didn't want to bore you with, like, I'm sure you guys didn't want to watch a video of me popping a door panel off. I, you know, maybe I'm wrong. You know what? Comment. Let me know. Is that something you guys wanted to see? Because if it is, no, I'm not going to put the door panel back on and take it back off. But for future, <laughs> for future things, I will show you guys that if you want that. But I just assume you guys probably didn't want to see that. And you only want to see the cool stuff that's going on and how cool it all looks when it's all said and done. So... Here's the update, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see how things go from here, because next, we're gonna be getting started on an eight into one header setup, and I know you guys wanna check that out. So stay tuned for that, and as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.